Greetings fellow Octopathians, welcome back to Octopath Traveler. So, I recruited Primrose, I got her chapter one done the last time. But before I proceed with side stories in Sunshade, it has been brought to my attention that there is a side quest in Boulderfall that I was able to do, but I didn't, and it's actually very important. Apparently it has a it has a major consequence for, for events later in the game. But it's up here. It's the one where there's the woman that says, you're not the one I'm looking for, and then this guy says, I want her attention. He said, so apparently what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to provoke him into a battle or duel him with Ulbrich. And you're supposed to intentionally let him defeat you. So, let's get a move on then. Letting us begin. He's a five-star opponent, so... I don't want to waste my creatures. I need to let him win. Oh! I don't need to let him win, he's gonna beat me anyway. <laughs> Pitiful creature, that. Wait a second. I let myself Whoa. lose. But I was told if I lose. That, that was supposed to, I was supposed to let to lose on purpose. Um let me do it again, just to be sure. Standest thou against me? Then um, we hunt hit me again! <laughs> Um, okay. That's strange. You're supposed to let Alphys defeat you. Hmm. I'm perplexed. Maybe I have to do it as Ulbrich. I don't know. I was just, that was brought to my attention that that's a quest that needs to be done. So, I'll get Ulbrich and try that again later. But in the meantime, I'd like to do a little bit of a party swap, which actually, uh, <clears throat> I'll explain something too. Between the, this episode and the previous one, I did a bunch of grinding, because I had some downtime. So... I got Cyrus, Ophelia, Hanit, Primrose, and Alphen up to 20. I didn't get to Theory on before my time ran out. So I'm going to put Theory on in the party. And whoops! I want Alphen as well. So. And then the Golden Axe, I had it on Hanit, and I would like to move it over. Move it over to him. Give her Argent Axe. There we go. Alright, so we're going to fast travel back to Sunshade. It shouldn't take me long to get to Cobblestone from here. The Sunlands is a... Oh! Duh! I can't run to Cobblestone yet because I need to do side quests in Sunshade. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's a new day, new recording session, so I'm kind of trying to get my mind together here. Alright, where am I at here? Oh, that's right. This woman said this guy's harassing her. 
Oh, I shouldn't have took Haunted out of my party then. Damn it. Um, let me go get her. So the tavern owner is this fellow here. Yeah, my bad. I need to. I need to have Haunted for this. So Therion, you're gonna need to go on standby for the moment. I don't know how many of these are going to require a provoked to do, so I may need to keep her with me. When I leave Sunshade, I'll put Therion back in the party. You, sir! Are you harassing this woman? Suck beast! Four out of ten! Hmm. I'll try. Let's see how this goes. You damn monsters ruining my day! Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. Let in the hunt Lin, attack! Sleepweed? Did it miss? Yeah, it missed. Good. Sweet! Attack! Okay, he, he definitely has a bit of punch to him. He's vulnerable! Maximum attack! Aha! My evasion is too high for you, sir! Your near dwelling has come to an end! What next? Attack! Man, he's resilient! Then we'll take you down. I'll just keep hitting you. I will not be coming if thou darest. What next? You have you are persistent, sir, much like your predatory nature, but you will de be defeated. No! I'm asleep! No! I will not be the let in the hunt begin. Come on! There we go! I honor thee, my friend. Oh, that did it. I got a cutscene. Damn it all! I'll not be forgetting this! Are you fine, madam? You have my thanks. That man would not take no for an answer. I only came here because I'd heard that this is where people come to have fun in this town. I swear, doesn't the local tribe do anything to maintain order? She has no idea. You've, you've come to the wrong city for the fun you're looking for. How is a girl supposed to enjoy the city if she can't even walk down the street in peace? I sympathize. Ruffians like that man should not be allowed to wander free! Oh, but forgive me, I seem to forgot- I seem to have gotten carried away. You wish to know who I am? Well, that's rather... I'm, uh, yes, on a journey, I suppose. My name is Rhea. You may call me Rhea. Anyhow, I will not forget your kindness in helping a stranger. Thank you again. If nothing else, at least my journey has shown me that there's still some good people left in this world. And now I must say farewell. I hope that your own travels bring you joy. 1500 and a magic nut. Alright. People like that shouldn't be allowed to wander. What's it? As far as I could tell, he was just hitting on her. He wasn't and just wouldn't leave her alone. 
Well, actually, yeah, that would be a problem with it because if she rejects your advances and you still keep going, that's almost predator-like in nature. I have no idea if I can steal from anybody here. I'll do that last. Uh, let me... No, it's, I think Haunted's okay. Now, in the pro, the original demo, this guy is supposed to be super strong. And they've nerfed him. Of course they, of course they did. That's right. All right, there's supposed to be a yes. The blue dancer. <laughs> Alas, no one turns their head at my dancing. I cannot catch anyone's eye. Dancing is nothing but a sorrow. Maybe it's time to hang up my dance shoes. But before I do, I want to stand on that stage and dance with Grace one more time. What's that? You want to go dance? Then come with me! I can arrange that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helganish lackey. Don't talk to me. Oh, that's right. There's a treasure up here. What is it? Healing grape. To the stage! Oh, hit night. The Olive of Life medium. Um, miss, I brought you to the stage. Hello? Are you gonna dance? No? No, I just brought you for no reason. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, in the meantime, what do you have for me? Hired barkeep. Would you look at that? That useless son is our hired arm. He's supposed to keep the peace when our customers get rowdy. But all he does is drink, not work. His coin disappears as quickly as the sands in an hourglass. Maybe if someone bested him in a fight for once, he'd actually take his position with a bit more gravity. Me? Are you mad? Have you seen the size of him? I can't beat someone like that in a fight. If I recall last time, this is the gentleman in question. Yeah, the bouncer. Whoa! Um... Yeah, with... As evidence with Alphys, I may not be able to win this. Yeah, let's not... Let's not tempt fate here. Okay. Well, there is... Alright, let's inquire here first, before I fight her. New weapons for sale. Townsperson. Though she came to Sunshade to find her mother, she was too late, for the woman had taken ill and passed away. All that remained to give the girl comfort was a dancer's dress, a memento of happier times. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? I'm gonna kill you. One out of ten strength? Don't care. Lynn, attack! Thou against me, then be hunted. Come Chew on her leg. I said chew on her leg, not pounce on her. Stupid beast. Okay, that works then. I take that back. What do we have in here? Ooh, treasure. Traditional dancer's garb. Is that equipment? Yes, it is. For Primrose, by the looks of it. Hmm. I'll have to go... I have to go to the tavern anyway before I leave. Well, let's uh, proceed. Well, since... Actually, since I don't need to... Provoke anyone anymore... At least for the time being, I'll swap. I'll do a swap out. I didn't give Ophelia or the Haunted the axe back, so I should be able just to switch party members here. First, let's Primrose. Let's see. Traditional dancer's garb. Yeah, it's not that good. It's worse. All right, Haunted. We'll replace you with Therion. now. Let us get information. Barkeep. 
the newly hired barkeep of the tavern in Sunshade. He has made a con concerted effort to obtain fine spirits from lands both near and far. Though many of these varieties are notoriously rare, he has somehow managed to acquire them without paying a premium. He's either a really good salesman, or he's shady. And with this town, I'm guessing it's the latter. Oh, wait! It's in your pocket! Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm... I'm not risking that. You, that stuff's not worth it. Tavern Proprietor. Hidden item. The prodigal son of a wealthy family. He was cast out after failing to earn his keep. Following the untimely demise of Helginish, he purchased the tavern and set about making changes. The dancer's lot is said to have improved, and the drinks are more affordable than ever. Are, are you saying that the dancers are actually have a proper job dancing, and rather than being that and sex slaves? Well, good for you, sir! The nourishing nut. Oh, what's in his... I keep forgetting to check his pocket. I keep people's pockets. Whoa! That's like a mega elixir, but it's 3%. Ugh, no. I can't risk my reputation getting damaged. Not right now, I can't. Golden Axe is worth it, but that's not. Not now. Maybe Tress, I can buy it. Tavern Patron. A self-proclaimed scholar who travels the land and samples the cuisine of various taverns, and afterwards assesses them in a variety of criteria. He hopes to compile his findings in written form, and disseminate, disseminate them to the public, but is yet to find a patron willing to fund this bold endeavor. Okay. What do you have? Sharp nut? And... These are... okay. I might actually try to steal these. Got him! Success! What about you, madam? Oh, no, not part ways. What am I doing? Tavern wench. She returns. <laughs> Sorry about that. A young woman of humble birth who left your parents and come to Sunshade to work at a tavern. From an early age, her mother, an experienced swordswoman, trained her in the use of a blade. Owing to her consummate skill, the tavern has seen a sharp decrease in drunken fisticuffs. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I wanna kill ya! And then she just pulls out a sword. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it, man. <laughs> Hidden item. Something tells me it's not a good idea to be trying to swipe things from her back pocket. Critical earring? Sure. Sure. I'll give that to Therion, actually. Thieves. Uh, yes. Let's give you to Therion. Yeah, swordswoman, I picked your pockets. Tavern patron. This hunter has developed a habit of treating himself at the tavern after claiming the rewards for impressive marks. After slaying a fearsome beast that was terrorizing the local populace, he received a sum fit for a king and has been wearing the same satisfied grin for days on end. Oh, you won't be so full of yourself when I get in your back pocket. Commemorative coin fetches an exorbitant price if sold. 3%. No, let's not chance that, shall we? Brian! <laughs> Just Brian. A lazy man who spends his days thinking of ways to make easy money. More enthusiastic and diligent in his youth, he grew less ambitious as the years passed. Regrettably, while he's been more active of late, it's solely in the pursuit of a scheme to deceive the foolish and greedy. Oh really? What you got? Medium soul stones. Uh, I nah. Let's this was just not. Uh, let's just move on to the next person. Discount at the end! Tavern Patron. Unlike other mercenaries who are accustomed to the sights of Sunshade, this Greenhorn isn't, having never known the intimate company of the fairer sex. Unsurprisingly, this has led him to spend altogether too much coin on the dancing girls, far in excess of his meager earnings, of course. Um, should I question the fact that I just got a discount at the end from him? 
Should I question that? Empty coin pouch and a protective earring, 100%. Yes, very good. Very good. Oh, there was a hidden item here somewhere. I'll have to look for it. Inquire. Faltering youth. Blessed with unremarkable features and a talent for standing still at length, this oft-ignored youth of Sunshade has entertained fantasies of becoming a master thief since he was but a small child. Oh, really? Would a master thief allow me to take that stingling digger out of dagger out of his pocket? You, sir, are no thief. Tavern patron, undeniable allure. Hmm. A merchant in desperate search of a good time. Since the recent birth of his first child, he has found it considerably more difficult to carouse close to home in Victor's Hollow, and so he has taken to frequenting Sunshade instead. New information. The townspeople will be more receptive to your attempts to do something. Heavy coin pouch. 65%. Try it. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's that hidden item. An arcane glaive. Uh, is the glaive classified as a pole arm in this game? Yeah, it's considered a pole arm. Okay. I'm almost done here. I'll uh, just please be patient. Uh, I've already inquired. Portrait with a kiss. Well, thank you. I'll take that. I don't know why you have a... Well, it may not be an actual frame portrait in his pocket. I mean, come on. That'd be silly. What about you? The Olive of Life. 80%. I think I've got plenty of those, so I think I'll pass. Oh, look at all this. Thank you for your generous donation. What about you? Enlightening earrings. Hey, I will not sit there and deny more evasion. Handkerchief and candy. I'm trying to make sure I've scrutinized everybody. Soothing dust. Sleep weed. Aha! Oh, I haven't inquired on you. Master's Lackey, hidden item, a blade in the employ of the Tavern Master. Born into poverty, he threw his lot in with a gang of thieves at a young age and did whatever black business was asked of him. Though he has since taken up a more respectable trade, he remains willing to provide any service for the right price. Mm hmm. A Falcon Dagger. Aha! Give me that. Falcon Dagger, so... Aetherion. Is this better? Oh, you damn right it is. Uh... I'm trying to make sure I did everything here. I got a lot of sellables. Oh, the poor woman's knocked out, so I can't even check her pockets. I'm almost done. Protective earring. Wind amulet. Reduces wind damage. Uh, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Prevents blindness. I'm good, thank you. Hmm. Quatrate bloom. Flower from an exotic continent far to the south. Hmm. That's interesting. A diva dress. The last dress of a certain dancing... <gasps> oh! You're supposed to give that to the dancer lady. Um, part ways, please. I'll give you the dress, and then we can do that and end things there. I'd like to talk to you again and give you this fantabulous dress. But, what's inquire first? 
In a town where many aspire to reign supreme as the fairest dancer of them all, this blue-haired lass trains relentlessly to hone her craft. The girl with the un... Indefatigable? Indefatigable? Spirit? I had to look that one up. <laughs> Is re she's rarely seen without her favorite pair of well-worn shoes. What's in your pocket? Ice soul stone. Thank you. Alright, now. Would you like this dress? I had to steal the dress from someone. <laughs> oh! What is this? This dress! It's beautiful! It's just really stunning. It looks just like the dress worn by a great dancer I used to look up to ever so much. How nostalgic to think of it now. When I first came into this tavern, I practiced so desperately to try to dance as she did. Things were so awful here, but the dancing. I always did love the dancing. I've been dancing so many years now, but I wonder if I ever got close to her level at all. It's like a dream come true to get to wear this dress just like her, and dance on the stage as she did. <laughs> I suppose it's time for my last cue. Thank you. The wind amulet. See, I didn't need to steal it. Alright, that's enough. So, I can't do the bouncer one yet because I'm a little, still a little too weak. So, okay. I'm gonna stop the episode here. Next time, I'm gonna go into the Highlands to Cobblestone to go get Ulbrich. Because I'd like to actually have his ability to duel people versus provoking them. Because I think that's... I think that's how that quest in Boulderfall goes down. Plus, I don't lose reputation if I lose. Plus, dueling people's funny. So, with that, I'll leave things here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.